Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel and to a new monthly favourites video. And I was thinking about this last night, that it felt like it had been a while since I did a favourites video. I actually went back and looked and the last one I did was in February, which I couldn't believe. I did not think it was quite that long ago. A lot has obviously been going on since then and I always say with favourites videos, I only do them when I've really specifically got stuff to talk about that I really want to share with you. And you know, with everything being so weird the last few months, I guess I just haven't had that many things, but I do this month. And um, we're gonna start with beauty products as always. So let's just get right into it. First up, you will probably have seen me mention this either in the vlogs or maybe in a haul video. And it's a product from The Ordinary, which is High Adherence Silicon Primer. This is what it looks like. And honestly, this primer is absolutely incredible it really does keep my foundation on for longer it gives a great base um so it does kind of smooth but not in the way that some primers do where i almost find i put them on and my skin feels slidey and i almost have the opposite problem where the foundation then feels like it's sliding off but it really does grip to this but with that said it doesn't feel heavy it doesn't feel like there's something all over your skin it kind of really blends in it's just absolutely amazing and the price is just incredible i think this is something like four pounds i want to say um i've tried primers that are so much more expensive than this and not even close to being as good i actually get this from asos because i have like the premium delivery where i can get it delivered next day um, but you can order it directly from their website i will link all the products i'm talking about below but if you've had trouble with primers in the past or you just never really see the point in them um, and you're just looking for something that actually does make a difference i would give this a go because definitely for me everyone's skin is different but i really have found a huge difference with this and yeah i absolutely love it next up i've got a couple more products from beauty pie and i've talked about beauty pie before i'll put a link to beauty pie below so you can read up to understand how it works you basically pay a monthly fee like an amount to get a certain buying power and um, so if you pay five pounds a month i think you get 50 pounds of spending limits and the products have a certain value but you pay less than that to actually buy them it sounds really really confusing but the products themselves are so good i haven't had anything so far that i didn't really really like but there's a few products in particular that i just really really do rate and one of them is this dr glycolic soft feet peel socks so there was a bit of a thing with these a few years ago when they first started becoming really popular you put them on and i think you leave them on for i want to say an hour and 30 minutes yeah 90 minutes i actually leave them on a little bit longer than that um, but basically you put them on sit there with them on and it does make your skin peel now it doesn't happen for a while i think on here it says three to seven days. I actually find it's more like seven to nine days before anything really starts happening. So you do this treatment and then you're just like, okay, that didn't do anything. And you wait and you wait and you wait. Again, it might happen like different for everybody, but it takes quite a while. But then all of a sudden, it completely peels off all of the dead skin and then your feet are super soft. The only downside to it, and I think it does say, um, if it doesn't say yeah it does say here we suggest using at least 10 days before any important occasion or holiday it is kind of gross i won't lie um having all of your <laughs> dead skin peeling off is pretty grim you would not want to be wearing sandals or anything like that while this process is happening but it really does make a huge difference i've had some other ones that i didn't really feel worked but this one definitely does so i can highly rate that but yeah you have been warned it's a little bit gross and the other thing from Beauty Pie that I've really been loving is this Super Retinol Anti-Wrinkle Eye Cream. So they do a range of these Super Retinol products. I also really like the moisturiser, which I use at night time. But in particular, I really love this eye cream. Eye creams can be really difficult to find a good one. So I have tried literally i cannot count how many eye creams i've tried over the years i've been using anti-aging stuff since i was about 19 and um i'm obsessed with eye creams it is my my thing so i have tried so many ranging in price from eye-wateringly expensive to drugstore and um, this one price wise is definitely more drugstore but the quality of it is more of a high end so i just find it really does help with fine lines it just generally kind of smooth the area i would say so you know whenever you feel like it's particularly dry and that just makes any fine lines you have feel even more obvious i just find that this does smooth the whole area and i feel less like i have that dry look going on 
which makes the lines look worse. So yeah, I can highly recommend this. It actually works underneath my concealer as well. And I always used to be reluctant to put moisturizer underneath my eyes before applying makeup, because in the past I've just found you get some like cakiness or it makes your concealer break down and stuff, but this one doesn't at all. I probably put it on five or 10 minutes before I then do my makeup and it's absolutely fine. So yeah, I can highly recommend that. Next is another product you will have heard mention of in the vlogs already, and it is my newest foundation, which I am absolutely in love with this foundation. Foundations are something I find really, really difficult to get a good one. I'm very picky. Um, if it doesn't perform a certain way, then I don't like it. And yeah, I'm a, I'm a tough crowd when it comes to foundation. And this one is just amazing. And that is a bold statement coming from me. And it's the Laura Mercier Flawless Fusion Ultra Longwear Foundation. So this is what it looks like. If I can get that to focus, there we go. And I use this in the shade 1N1 Cream and it's just so good. It's actually quite a thick formula. You can probably see in the top of the packaging there where I've used up some of it. If you kind of tip it upside down, it doesn't even look as if it's moving. It really is quite thick. But that said, it's just somehow really light as well. I don't, that sounds so weird to say. But when you're actually applying it, even though the formula is quite thick, you don't get any kind of heaviness, any cakiness. Um, any sort of like weird texture on your skin or just the finish of it with some foundations that are long lasting and are full coverage you really do just get this kind of strange heavy look and it doesn't kind of go completely matte until you apply powder this one does it does apply matte but not in any kind of heavy way I don't know it's so weird to explain it given that it is quite a thick formula but it is absolutely amazing. I love it so much. I'm wearing it today. Up until using this foundation, probably for the past five years plus, I always have to apply concealer before my foundation because in areas like around my nose and my chin where I've got some redness, foundation would just never cover it. And if I did have one that was heavy enough to cover it, it just looked so, so cakey. This one, I actually don't need to apply concealer anywhere other than under my eyes. It, it's just so good. I can't say enough about it. I love it. It's amazing. So if there's one thing I could recommend, it's this. Um, it's not the cheapest foundation in the world. It is a high-end one. Obviously, Laura Mercier is a high-end brand, but it's totally, totally worth the money. Even though it's high-end, it's not the most expensive foundation I've ever tried. I want to say it's about 30-something pounds, um, which, like I say, I fully acknowledge is a high-end price, but yeah, it's so good. Another product which has become an absolute staple for me, and this is drugstore, is this lipstick. So this is the Maybelline Superstay 24 Hour. We've talked about this a lot in the live streams over on Disney in detail because quite often I'm wearing it and you guys ask what I'm wearing. This lipstick is a bit of a miracle. So you know that one of my favourites prior to me using this was always Kat Von D Everlasting Liquid Lipstick. I do still love that. I think the shade range that they have is just amazing, but it doesn't stay on quite as well as this. So this is quite an unusual type of lipstick. So you have the actual colour in this end, and this is the applicator. It's like a kind of um, weird shape but it's actually really good for getting precision around your lip line. That's one thing I will say about these which is exactly the same as any matte or liquid lipstick. You do have to be quite precise when you're applying it because it does really really stay on and if you've kind of applied it a bit wonky it does look more obvious than if you just kind of swiped on a lipstick. So that's the only thing it does take maybe a little bit longer to apply but by no means ages it's just you've got to be a bit more precise and when you have applied it it will feel horrible it feels tight it feels really dry you just think like oh my gosh this feels awful you then take the other end which has this little clear balm you apply this over the top and it immediately feels perfect and feels exactly as it should and that feeling stays that way so it never goes back to the super kind of sticky it's like a combination of sticky and dry, which doesn't make any sense. But that feeling before you put this on, even though throughout the day this does wear off somewhat, you never get that super dried out feeling again. And you can reapply this over the top and you can actually see there is no trace of any of the lip color on this white thing. So if I was to do this now, you literally don't get any of the color coming off. 
I don't know, it's amazing is the only way I can explain it. It stays on through talking, drinking, eating. The more bold the colour, you will always, with any lipstick, around the kind of centre of your mouth, you do get a slight amount of wearing off, but it is slight. This stuff is incredible. It stays on when I'm wearing a mask as well, which is obviously a thing at the moment. So I can't recommend this enough. I think it's normally around £10, but often from Superdrug, you get three for two or some other kind of deal. I think actually from Superdrug, these are £12 each, but they often have two for 12. So it's basically buy one, get one free. And the two shades that I have here are my two favourites. The red is Eternal Cherry, which is just a really nice bright red. And then I also have Perpetual Rose. This is probably the one I wear the most often. I'm obsessed with this shade, Perpetual Rose and I also have um, the one that I'm wearing today is called Dusty Rose so this is a bit more of a kind of natural tone and I also have another one called Brick Berry which I really really like so yeah I can highly recommend these they do have several different shades but well worth it if you want something that is definitely going to stay on okay i've got two more products that kind of fall into i guess the beauty category one of them is very relevant it is a hand sanitizer as i'm sure everybody is i am going through so much hand sanitizer at the moment and this particular one is from superdrug it's called hanitizer and it's from the brand so like the so question mark i don't I don't really know what I think they're a fragrance brand maybe or like body spray that's what I thought that brand was but anyway they have a hand sanitizer and this is actually a spray so it's really really easy to use you get the perfect amount you don't get too much it doesn't like go everywhere it doesn't leak in your bag and it smells like sweet pea. I think we talked about this in the haul video actually and I was realising that that's the smell. I love the smell of sweet peas and now I've been using this for a while. Yeah, I would highly, highly recommend getting some of this. I've only ever seen it in super drugs so I don't know if you can get it other places or whether there's other fragrances but yeah, definitely love this one. And next up I have a hair product. So you will have noticed I've had my extensions out for quite some time now. With the lockdown and everything going on we did have to take them out. I say we, mainly they either fell out or I kind of managed to get them out myself. Ian did help a little bit here and there um, but they've been out for a while now and I'm not used to having this much of a big break from my extensions but I do use different shampoo and conditioner when I have extensions and when I don't and when I don't I really really love of this this is l'oreal Elvive dream lengths so they do a conditioner and shampoo as well as some other um, treatment products as well this i really really like um the whole kind of idea behind it it reinforces fragile lengths so if you're trying to grow your hair or you've maybe had a color treatment or something that has made it feel not great this is kind of a restoring shampoo and i really really like this i do feel that after i've had my extensions out and i'm taking a break from them it does just improve how it feels and it does feel when i say thick it does not feel thick compared to when i've got my extensions obviously um but it just feels a bit healthier i would say so yeah if you're looking for a decent shampoo that is not too expensive this is definitely a drugstore price point you can get it in the supermarket and um, i really like it and yeah i do actually feel like for long hair it does make an improvement in the kind of feel and softness and thickness of my hair. So with it being summer, one of the things I've really been trying to do is drink more water. And I go through this phase fairly regularly where I want to drink more water, I find it really difficult, then I find I'm barely drinking any, um, and so it goes around and around and around. So I've discovered something that actually is making it easier, and I'm kind of, for the most part, sticking to drinking more water and it is these cold infused tea bags i've actually got two different brands here but these are the particular flavors that i found that i really like so one of them is twinings and this one is passion fruit mango and blood orange and then this one is the tetley cold infusions and this one is passion fruit and mango so both in the passion fruit mango area so clearly that's something i like but this one has the orange kind of added and this one does taste quite strongly of orange and this one definitely is more the passion fruit taste this one tends to be a bit cheaper um the tetley one but you can sometimes get this on offer and they infuse in cold water so i just put my water my ice one of these in and you just kind of shake it around and it really does give it quite a nice flavor it's not in any way sweet so this is basically like a cold version of herbal tea so you know where you just get that hint of the flavour but it's not 
flavored as such i hope that makes sense i'm describing this really badly um i would say both of these two actually are on the stronger flavor of some of the others that i've tried especially this one with the orange you really really can taste the orange in this one but yeah it definitely is making it easier for me to drink water and it just makes it a bit more interesting you can put them in a water bottle or just in a glass of water whatever you want really but yeah these two flavours, really, really like them. Next up is another item that is very relevant at the moment, and it's a mask. Um, so all of us here in the UK and in most other countries at the moment are looking to buy something like this, which is not something we have probably had to ever buy before for the most part. So um, yeah, masks are now a thing in the UK if you're in enclosed spaces, public transport, shops, and I know it's the same for a lot of other countries. And there's so many different ones out there and it does make quite a big difference to how comfortable they are, um, depending which one you have. Um, and this one is amazing. It's from a brand called Face Defender. Let me just show you the little tag on the side there so you can see how that's spelled i will link it in the description below and this is actually a small local company to me this was gifted full disclosure um but everything i'm saying about it is entirely in my opinion i have tried this as well as some others this one if anything is a tiny bit smaller for me i could probably do with something just a little bit bigger but i can totally wear this and it does fully enclose um all the way around my face which is super important the good thing about it is the shape i find with this one some of them that are more kind of thin and like baggy on your face for want of a better description as you're breathing it's almost like the fabric you're like breathing it into your mouth that kind of doesn't happen with this one because of the shape and the type of fabric that it is also on the inside it has this um suede kind of bit which is very soft so it's comfortable on your face and then also it does have the metal piece inside so that you can actually have it molded around your nose because obviously if this bit is open then it's either going to steam up your glasses if you wear glasses or sunglasses and it's not very productive for obviously keeping germs inside so these are great and also the elastic that they use is super super soft and i don't know if you can see here but it's got this very soft little rubbery bit where you can adjust how big the loop is depending how big you need it so this is so soft this little rubber thing you can barely feel it so yeah i just wanted to highlight this for anyone who is looking for a decent mask i know they have been so busy that on some mornings they've had to close the website from taking new orders because they've had so many um but yeah definitely check these out if you're looking for a good one they have lots of different fabrics obviously this one is definitely giving me mini mouse vibes so thank you to face defender for gifting this to me i should say as well you can wash these um the little metal piece actually slides out of this suede bit uh so yeah highly recommend and the final thing in my july favorites will come as no surprise to anyone who watches my other channel who watches the live streams over on disney in detail so the last one i did i mentioned was in february so that was pre-lockdown i have got myself a switch as i know a lot of us have this is the switch light i do actually have the regular one as well because i do videos on it now because i love it that much it's not specifically the switch it is more animal crossing in particular animal crossing is a very popular game for the nintendo switch and I'm obsessed with it. During lockdown, it really gave me something to escape into. You can just play it for hours. It's extremely relaxing. It's not like a video game in the sense that you would normally imagine it where you're kind of rushing around, running around, trying to do something, having people attacking you. It's like an island escape where you just build your own island. You have cute little animal villages. Um, it's it's just very, very lovely. And everybody in lockdown, I mean, they released this thing at the right time, not that they could have known that it was gonna be an amazing time, but they were very hard to get hold of because so many people wanted something to take their mind off things and keep them occupied. And I've carried on playing it. I play it every single day. I show no signs of getting fed up with it. I know some people do get burned out playing it too much, um, but yeah, I just absolutely love, love, love animal crossing so much i do have another channel now called animal crossing in detail i don't upload super regularly over there i'm trying to do a few more videos but i just enjoy playing it so much that i like to share that with you guys so i'll link that below um so you can check those videos out if you want to see what animal crossing is all about but yeah i don't know how i would have got through lockdown 
without this. <laughs> so that is everything for my July favourites video. I hope you enjoyed this. Let me know in the comments if there's anything in particular that you think look really good or things that you use. Do you use any of the things that are my favourites as well? What are your favourites? I always like to get recommendations from you guys as well. Um, so yeah, if you enjoyed it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you're not already. The weekly vlogs have been somewhat sporadic over the last few months. Um, I think that's been the case for a lot of people, but as we get back into a normal routine, they should get back on track. There should be another one this week on Thursday. And um, just thank you for always being so supportive, still being here, even though the vlogs really have not been overly exciting. Obviously the last few months we just haven't been doing anything, which is the same for everybody. So yeah, just thank you for always being here and being so nice. And the same goes for Disney in detail. I know a lot of you also subscribe over there as well. And um, we've really changed things up over there. We've been doing the live streams during lockdown and um, the action vlogs because we haven't been able to travel to obviously do new Disney vlogs so it really does mean so much to us that you guys are always so supportive and over on Patreon as well everywhere that you guys um, follow like subscribe whether it's Instagram Facebook everything just thank you so much for always being so great so I will see you on Thursday with a new weekly vlog thank you so much for watching I hope you're all having a great day and I'll see you in the next one bye